the running joke is I wanted to be a vet before I could spell the word. I'm an 80s child, so technology was really starting to evolve back then. So I always was very fascinated with like computers and what you can do with it. In high school, my actually AP Bio course was where I really got fascinated with computing, which led to me being at Carnegie Mellon. They actually have a whole department in computer science school that deals with informatics. And so as I was learning and proceeding, I realized that biomedical informatics with all of its derivatives was really where I wanted to be because my brain was always looking for evidence first and then to build a model from, then populating it and testing it with future data. However, there's a separate component is, as I said, I always wanted to be a vet. You cannot guarantee you'll get into veterinary school. Getting a PhD is a way to like ensure a career. You're working with clinicians, you're working with PhD researchers, you're working with computer scientists, you're working with information science, you're working with your own machine learning, artificial intelligence. And so for me, biomedical informatics versus any of the other PhDs or masters that I like, I got to work with everyone. It started with ALS research, with Robert Bowser at Pitt. A lot of the conceptual stuff and a lot of the computer work that you do, you could see applications. But that's very different than when you're actually applying it on real life specimens, like actual cerebral spinal fluid taken from patients. A couple of the proteins we identified are actually now targeted therapy for ALS. I was working with patient-specific modeling that really shaped the rest of my career because instead of just building it for the masses, you can actually build something for the individual. And that ultimately led me to my thesis. I use almost every facet of my PhD daily. Building a veterinary ontology to learn how to classify procedures and drugs, incorporating outside references into it. Being able to understand the data mining and knowledge extraction from the system so I can feed it back to the clinician. Understanding how do I present the information to the clinician through user design. Hopefully in 10 years, one of my big check marks will be that we will actually have veterinarians enrolled in PhD programs in biomedical informatics because we are sorely lacking that support structure.